All right, welcome back. As promised, we have something sweet from Physics Outreach. I am here now with uh, Jasmine Barone, and you're, um, you are on the Vintage Days Committee yes. with Fresno State. And so Fresno State Physics Outreach is going to be at Vintage Days, and we're going to kind of yep. demonstrate what the kids can do at the kids zone because you'll be manning the kids zone there. I'll be doing part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell you about other things. And so kids we're going to show you a little bit exactly. of what they can do. But Vintage Days, when is it? What can we expect? What's going on this year? Um, so Vintage Days is happening this Friday, um, starting at 10 a.m. Okay. on Fresno State's campus. We're going to be highlighting our new student union and little parking lots right there, taking over some of the grass area, and then also being inside our new build, our new building. Um, there's going to be a lot happening. We're going to have live music. We're going to have a huge crafts fair. We're going to have um, some of our student uh, student organizations selling food. We'll right. have some food trucks, and then we're going to have our kids zone, which is going to have the physics outreach department um, out there doing a bunch Don of... Don Williams will be there teaching, teaching science. I forgot about the new student union. Yes. yes. When did it open? Um, we opened in the fall, it, the fall it, semester. Uh, last semester, that's yes. right. So it wasn't open for Vintage Days last year. Yeah. So this is sort of the first time that, that everybody can come there yeah. and, get, and take a peek at it. The public can. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for anybody who has not been to Vintage Days. What is it? What's the purpose of Vintage Days? So... Some people like to call it like an open house to our campus, right. but it's it's more of a way to like connect our students and our and our uh, the Central Valley to come together in this fun way. And, and it's like you know it's wet, the weather's starting to get nice again. Yeah. You got to come out, see the campus, support students, support local businesses, and it's just it's just a fun time. I was like getting the uh, egg rolls. There's a group on campus. They make egg rolls, and, and it's delicious. And so as the weather gets nicer, you can uh, you can yeah. taste a little bit of the kids zone. Exactly. At Fresno okay. We, this is what you're going to be doing over well, there. Well, this will be one thing we do. You this know, they is, always want to know about this. Yes. This is science ice cream. It is. Because we're taking a solid or a liquid. Yes. And we're going to turn it into a solid. This is a liquid. This is using, the batter. Using, using something that's 200 degrees negative. Oh, yeah. Ready? Oh, there Remember it goes. That? Liquid nitrogen. <laughs> okay. So that means you have to get oh, yeah, those I gotta put on. My, I'll put my goggles on. And I only gave you one glove, Emily, so you got to figure out, is it going to be the one you hold the spoon or the bowl? The, bo the bowl. Oh, why are you going to hold the because bowl? Because this is spoon? not a conductor. Exactly. Okay. Not a thermal conductor. Okay. All right. So let me get so that out got, of the way. We got our ice cream batter in here. Now, I'm. am I going to pour it around the bowl or in the bowl? In the bowl. In the bowl. Yes. Now, why are we going to be allowed to eat it? Because that's actually liquid air. That's what Oh, yes. Is. Yes, that's liquid why when air. you just poured it on the ground, it, just, exactly. it disappeared. It just disappeared. Okay. All right, are we ready to make ice cream? I'm ready to make this ice cream. This will be cream. the first time Emily's actually stirred, guys. This is the first time so Emily's gonna, cooked we're anything. We're going to see no, how it goes, all right? Okay. All right, so start turning the bowl a little bit. And then oh, just I can. Got, yeah, and just kind of keep it off the side. Oh, yeah, right, yeah you, turn said, the bowl. you said you like to turn the bowl. Yeah, and just kind of keep the spoon scraping to the side. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, you better move that spoon too. We're gonna have a big chunk. Oh in yeah, there. we will. All right, so stir it around a little bit more. You, otherwise, you're gonna end up with oh, a chunk it's in chilly. there. Is it cold? See, that's frozen air. That's not smoked or steam, right, guys? That is really cold. Oh, yeah, I can, I can't see it, think? but is I can. It start to stiffen. I can feel it coming is it together. To, is it starting to have ice cream? Let me give you a little more. Oh, we got like. All right. We got 30 we can, seconds we left. We can get different consistencies. This is minute science ice cream. There you go. We turned a liquid into a solid using oh your, I bet you have it. I bet you so have cool. it. I think I have it. Let's get a scoop out in a cup. You think and we might even ah! have, Yeah, you, you wait. I kind see. of have dipping dots. You well, let's see here. Off the side here, you got some ice cream there. Look at that. I have ice cream. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, if she does that, we can't keep it. 